some species did survive. Uh, I guess I think you've said that it's it's very possible that some dinosaurs even survived for a time oh, that I, we we might be able to discover down the line. I'd be amazed if they didn't. I mean, there's been various reports over the decades of the the KPG or KT extinction, the Cretaceous Paleogene or Cretaceous Tertiary extinction of of dinosaurs surviving, and none of them have held up. It's usually been um bioturbation so literally things like prairie dogs digging and of course they'll dig a tooth up and then move it through the layers or things like this or plant roots can can move stuff um or just soils can get churned up but i would be shocked if they didn't not not like oh yeah the dinosaur survived and the Loch Ness monster and stuff like that but but, but like Yes, it was a global devastation. Yes, it's what ultimately killed the dinosaurs. But I'd be amazed if there wasn't some equivalent of Hawaii or New Zealand or some other tucked away island or valley where actually dinosaurs were fine for anything from a few hundred thousand to a couple of million years. But on a global scale, it's a dot on a map. And the odds that we'll ever uncover any rocks, fossiliferous rocks of that age that we then have access to, that we then find a dinosaur in, that we can then date properly, I think is almost non-existent. But it would just be weird if they didn't survive somewhere for a bit, or even quite a few of them in places. So small local population. We see it all the time. You know, the lemurs in Madagascar, all the stuff in New Zealand. There's tons of weird archaic stuff hanging around in Hawaii. You know, Galapagos finches and tortoises, or the tortoises that you don't see anywhere else. In Australia with the marsupials, they're almost, and then the monotremes are almost unknown outside of there. This, this is pretty normal bit of biology for animals that were so dominant globally. We know there were patches that were largely unchanged. Otherwise, we wouldn't have had the mammals surviving and the crocodiles surviving and the birds surviving and, ever, and newts and frogs and everything that did survive. I'm sure a few of those patches had some dinosaurs in them, but it, it is ultimately what killed them. What do you think is the chance that they would have survived? So you take some local populations and they flourish. It's happened. Look at look at Australia. Um, you know, the, the marsupials have done pretty well there um, for a very long time. You can imagine if the next mass extinction, you know, flattens a large chunk of Indonesia, for example, kangaroos could island hop pretty easily and make it to mainland asia but then i mean to then lead you take the dinosaurs a small fraction survives and then they eventually repopulate the earth again i mean that's extraordinarily unlikely because once your population's been crashed like that you do have the problems of things like inbreeding or maybe you're a great specialist to a certain area or you're surviving because you're isolated you're in a you're in a valley or you're on an island and then dispersing again becomes really or breaking out into those areas becomes much much harder so like the great predators like a even though the t-rex is such a great predator that doesn't that doesn't give you yeah because because you've still had the extinction event and the environment is no longer what it was that you evolved into yeah. um, and when once those systems start to recover those other animals are going to adapt much better to them how does that make you feel that that um this stupid asteroid from nowhere <laughs> well, I mean at one level, I probably wouldn't be here if it hadn't 